Hello everyone, this is a Geek Must Have, and this is a post bag. There are four items today for packages, all China Post packages. And we'll start with the smaller of them first and see what came and see what has come in. The first is this package from Yune Seng. And the package says mini USB jack. I wonder what could be in here. These are USB female jacks. They're, uh, each one has five pins, and the pins are at a 90 degree angle to where the socket part of the jack is. Now these are mini USB jacks, uh, not micro USB jacks, and I probably meant to order micro jacks and got these minis instead. Uh, the next package, I'm not even going to try the name and the address, and it ends in Guangdong, China. And the package says connectors. These are banana jacks with pretty sizable plastic knobs on them. And red and white. They're known as the terminal binding post. A lot of times they're used for speakers and I have some plans for these for an upcoming power supply project. The next package in today's post bag comes from Haigang Bao and the package says 100 pieces of SS12 DC00 switches. It did come with a bag of 100 switches and a little note that said they would be extremely grateful if I would leave them positive feedback. And the store on this is OS, O W E I S. Electronics HK. Thank you for your purchase. It's been a pleasure for you to meet at our store. And the switches are these very small four millimeter single pull double throw switches. And I'm hoping that the contacts on these are the right side, the right size for using using on breadboards. The next package in this post bag comes from Cheng Ruz Heng. And they also have a business card. The sales director from Zhengzheng Hangzheng Technology would have a nice day and they would like five stars, which they probably will get. And inside here are a number of things. 
the entire contents of this package come from the vendor S++. And this particular vendor is extremely good in sending out product and has an excellent selection. The item we have here are some standard 860 18 650 battery holders with uh, little compressed sides on them to hold the battery a little better in place and they have some six inch leads already soldered onto them. The next item is a cable adapter that has a BNC Q9 end on it and a set of alligator clips with a fairly heavy duty wire on it. This is uh, to put in my toolkit to be able to hook up the various devices that I have that use a BNC require a BNC connector. The next item is USB is a current voltage testing meter using USB plugs. This one, in addition to having a regular full-size USB, also has a micro USB on the side. Makes it a little easier to test like cell phones and tablets. And for grins, let's just test this out. And it does, it is a white on black. It says 5.0 volts with zero amps and 0008 milliamp hours and a one on there. Let's hook up a load. So here is, uh, as a result of hooking the load up, the voltage went down to 4.74 volts. It is a 1.98 amp load on there and is 17 milliamp hours. So it's 17 milliamp hours. Pressing the button. Thus. Make it blink. It changed to three and then four. I think it has various settings on there. Ow! Settings on there. Hot. There's a safety note, boys and girls. These little load devices generate a lot of heat. The next item in that package are a set of five of these very small lever switches. These are single pole, double throw. Positive, very positive click on these. And these will be able to handle up to five amps at 125 volts much higher than what I anticipate I am going to be using these for. And the next item is a Raspberry Pi 2 case. So it is a standard Raspberry 2 like case. It comes with two heat sinks and a fan. 
with fan mounting hardware and a hardware to put the case together. So not only do I have one set, I have two sets of hardware I can use on this item. And the case snaps together, fan goes here to keep the Raspberry Pi cool. And the next item in this package is this acrylic case with hardware in it, and I'm leaving it sealed. This is for the W1209 temperature thermostat control, which I got a couple of them recently, and I wanted to be able to put one of them inside of an acrylic case to be able to use. This is the haul from today's post bag. A lot of switches and connectors. Another bunch of 18650 battery boxes and a couple of cases.